What happened? Are we... dead? No, we're okay. But we're in the spirit world. All the energy from your weapon tore open a new portal and blasted us in here. Why would you save my life? After everything I did to you? I guess... I see a lot of myself in you. We are nothing alike. Yes, we are. We're both fierce and determined to succeed, sometimes without thinking things through. This wasn't how I wanted things to end. If you had all just surrendered, none of this would have happened. You brought this on yourself. Messing with the spirit vines, acting like a dictator over your people. You had to know what you were doing wasn't right. I was trying to help my people. Sue turned her back on the Earth Kingdom. You were gone. I had to do something. I think I get it now. You don't understand anything about me. I do. Sue told me how she took you in when you were younger. It must have been so hard being an orphan. Don't pretend you know what it felt like. The Avatar is adored by millions. I was cast aside by my own parents like I meant nothing to them. How could I just stand by and watch the same thing happen to my nation when it needed someone to guide it? You wanted to create a place where you and your people would never be vulnerable again. I may not have been an orphan, but believe me, I understand what it feels like to be afraid. After I was poisoned, I would have done anything to feel in control. Spirits have returned. And so has Korra! Ha-ha! <laughs> You're okay! Release Kavira, or we will attack! Stand down. This battle is over. I owe the Avatar my life. Her power is beyond anything I could ever hope to achieve. I'll accept whatever punishment the world sees fit. Sue, I'm sorry for all the anguish I've caused you and your family. You're going to answer for everything you've done. <laughs> and though the battle took a severe toll on our beloved city, out of the destruction love did bloom. So that is why, dearest friends and family, we gather today to celebrate the wondrous and at times inexplicable bond between Savaric and the Lady Julie! Hey, pal! Camera on me! This is my big day! True love is a fickle creature. Difficult to find, nearly impossible to tame. But Varric and Julie have proven that even the longest of long shots can have a chance at happiness together. Now for the vows. Thank you, Mr. Pabu. Do you, Sir Iknik Blackstone Barrack of the Southern Water Tribe, Master of the High Seas, take the Lady Julie Moon to be your lawfully wedded wife? Will you promise to treat her not as your assistant, but as your honored and cherished partner? You're darn tootin' I do. And do you, Julie, take Barrack to be your lawfully wedded husband. Do you promise to care for him in sickness and in health, and and also scrub his calluses on a bi-weekly basis, which isn't really that much to ask. Okay, I'm not reading all this. I do take Varric, calluses and all. You may now do the thing. Oh. Just make me so dang happy! 